Welcome to the EFS survey tutorial about the project step, testing the project. We're going to show you how to test the online questionnaire manually and automatically. First, we present automatic test features to check single parts of the questionnaire, like filters for instance. Then we show you how to test the entire questionnaire manually and how to conduct the pretest. Like in previous tutorials, the project website check serves as the example to present all test features. One central automatic test feature is the filter test. It checks the functionality of all filters in the questionnaire and is located in the questionnaire editor. Click there on filter list to see all filters used in the questionnaire with all important information. The project website check contains just one filter. We called it search engine. Next to the title of the filter, you see the variable the filter refers to, the corresponding question and the answer item. Moreover, the filter condition the code and the attribute are mentioned. That means if a respondent answers the question how did you learn about our website by selecting the item search engine, code 1 will be given to the specific variable v31. If a respondent does not select this answer option, the variable gets code null. The test status of the filter is indicated in the column state of the test by a yellow color meaning operable without test. Click on the test tube symbol to test the filter. Here you enter manually all kinds of codes into the text field to check if the filter really works. At first we enter the code 1 that should trigger the filter and click on test. The test result is presented in the box test data. In this case the filter was triggered properly. In case of a nil the filter wasn't triggered. Consequently the filter is adjusted correctly. After the successful testing of the filter, change the filter status from yellow to green color, indicating that the filter is operable and tested. Finally, click on Change Status. The green notice indicates the successful change of the status. If you want to check other questionnaire elements as hiding conditions or plausibility checks, use the consistency check. After automatic test features have checked the project, review the questionnaire by yourself. To do so, go back to the survey menu and click on the preview questionnaire link. That opens up the questionnaire in a new tab. Click thoroughly through the questionnaire and check if everything is realized the way it should. If you want to change something, get to the questionnaire editor and make all necessary adjustments. Next to automatic and manual test options, EFS Survey offers the pretester feature that enables external testers to give systematic feedback to your survey. Activate this feature in the project properties in the category Internal Organization. There, enable the pretest icon in the survey for all participants. In fact, this feature activates a comment box on every single page of the survey. Finally, click on Save. After the activation of the pretester feature, invite testers to your survey. Since this project is an anonymous one, just send a survey link to the testers. Clicking on the link opens up the survey. Now every page of the questionnaire contains a comment icon opening up a comment box by just one click. There pretesters can type in their feedback. You can review all pretest comments by clicking on documentation and then pretest comments. There you get a list of all pretest comments. Next to the comment is indicated a link to the page the comment refers to. Clicking on that link opens up a new tab directing you to the specific page within the questionnaire editor where you can make necessary adjustments. After that, assign a processing status to the comment in order to keep track of what we have already done. Then click on Save. When you have finished the pretest, deactivate the pretester feature and compile your project to create a new database table. To get qualified pretesters for a survey, Unipark offers a pretester pool bringing together experienced EFS survey users and other scientific experts of our research community. They are all interested in testing surveys and getting more insights into people's way of creating online questionnaires. If you want to know more about the pretester pool, please visit our website in the category Community. That concludes this tutorial about testing a project. If there are any questions left, please let us know. And for more information in terms of how to realize a project with EFS survey, please check out one of the next tutorials. Thank you for listening and good luck with your project.